Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're all having a fantastic Tuesday evening. Maybe some of you are heading out to the voting centers. If you do plan on heading out, something you definitely need to plan for is some of these warmer conditions. Overall, we've noticed some mostly sunny skies throughout the Yuma area today. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at our RV World Yuma Skycam, getting a look at 4th Avenue in Yuma. We've noticed some very warm conditions today. Temperature right now in Yuma is about 104, which is typically our average for this time of year. Let's go ahead and take a look now at our satellite and radar and see what kind of activity we're noticing in this portion of the country. Overall, you can see some small storm activity going on just east of Tucson. And as we zoom in here to the desert southwest, you'll notice we're starting to see some cloud cover, some of those translucent gray cells. But overall, not much rainfall hitting the area at the moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at our future cast and see where some moisture could be making its way across the country as we go throughout our day on Wednesday. Overall, for tomorrow, Arizona not really forecasted to see a ton of activity with the exception of that southeastern portion there. However, for us here in the desert southwest, could be another dry day. Let's go ahead and take a look now at our expanded satellite and radar and see what the rest of the lower 48 states are dealing with. A lot of activity going on over on the west side and definitely some storm activity making its way through the southern states. Let's take a look now at our current wind speed. You can see we're dealing with some overall calm conditions throughout the area at the moment. And as we get a look at our future wind, you can see we're going to have kind of a mixed bag going into the rest of this evening. But overall, those conditions calming out throughout the entire desert southwest as we go throughout our day on Wednesday. A look now at our air quality index presented to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Always a good sight to see here. The entire valley currently in good conditions right now. That's always a sight we love to see when it's green across the board overall. Some good air at the moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at our current temperatures. We begin with the Imperial Valley 106 in both Imperial and Holtville and jumping across the state and county line into Yuma County. More of the same, always dealing with those triple digit temperatures around this time of year. 104 in both Yuma and the foothills. Let's take a look at today's viewer weather photo. This coming to us from Rachel Hurt over in the foothills. Take a look at this shot. It's a storm that was going on not too long ago. This almost looks like she's in the eye of the storm right here. Just really great. You see some of the blue skies in the background, but overall you see the overcast. Just a really good shot. Rachel, thank you so much for sending this in. And if you have a photo that you'd like to share with us, all you have to do to share those photos with us is take out your phone. You can open your camera app, scan that QR code. That's going to take you right to our homepage where hopefully you can upload some of those photos and I'll get them featured right here on the weathercast. Let's go ahead and take a look now at our Metrocast to help you plan out the rest of your evening around midnight tonight, 93 degrees. And as you wake up for your commute tomorrow morning, 87 with some continued cloud cover. And by the time we hit noon tomorrow, 100 degrees to round out your day. Let's go ahead and take a look at our seven day forecast for the Yuma area. 107 degrees will be the high tomorrow. Another strong chance at some sunny skies, but that'll be right before we get another strong weekend of storms. As you can see there, Thursday through Monday, a strong chance at seeing some moisture make its way through the area. So definitely something you need to factor in as you're getting some of your weekend plans finalized. And now we'll look at the seven day forecast for the Imperial Valley. Just about more of the same. Some sunny skies on the way tomorrow before Thursday brings some potential rain. So once again, something to consider as you're getting some of your plans set up.